Hey everyone, welcome to Ableton Live 11. In this class, we're gonna cover all aspects of Ableton Live from just learning the program, to recording, to producing, to DJing, mixing, mastering. Everything is gonna be included in this huge multi-part class. So if you're brand new to the program, this is the best place to start. If you're already familiar with another audio program, all of these classes will get you up to speed on using live to do professional music production in no time. All right, this is part two. In this part, we're going to focus on recording and warping. I'm going to show you how to use live to do professional recording, how you can run a recording studio with live, how you can use live to warp recordings you've already made. That means stretch audio to fill and take the shape of a new track. For example, getting a drum beat to fit into a new tempo. And warping has a lot of cool sound design tricks also. And we'll look at those in this part two of Ableton Live 11. Everybody has a drawer full of these. If you go into any studio, you're gonna find a drawer full of the Shure SM57 or 58. Um, they look slightly different. This is a 58. Um, it's made by the company Shure, S-H-U-R-E, um, S-M. And then I just press record on the top. And now I'm gonna hear all these other tracks play while I record whatever I'm recording. Okay, so we're just recording my voice. And we hear this jazz band playing behind me. Okay, let me show you a way that you can use warping in your editing. I'm back to this big recording session here that I did with a jazz band. And I'm gonna zoom down to the saxophones. This is a relatively inexpensive one. This is an M-Audio Profire 610. So what this allows me to do is plug a microphone in, give it some juice, and uh, it's got, this one has a, this is an old one. 